Well, everybody, how are we going? Happy Saturday. So today, Alan's working in the JF Harvester. Um, my pickup's over here um, with Stevie Care. Getting uh, service 54,000 miles in the pickup. So just told him to leave her up in the left and have a wee look round her. So we're just going to go in, have a wee quick look round the pickup and see how she's doing for 54,000 miles. So she's come up to three years old now. Um, she got her first uh, MOT postponed because of all this COVID. So we're just giving her a look round, a bit of a service, and see what we think of the Amarok, three year old, 54 odd thousand miles. So there she is. So I was asking Stevie for her history. So she has had uh, oil service every 12 and a half thousand miles. Now with the Volkswagen, you can get away at 20,000 miles service interval, but because I like my right foot, push them on, drive them hard. We've went in at 12 and a half to change the oil. She's only had one set of brake pads so far all around. The back ones are still okay. There's a bit of bite on them yet, but um, we're going to replace them because I don't want any hassle between the next between the next service. There, if we can see here, if we can get enough of light in, the only wee thing that we can notice is um, there's a tiny wee weep starting here. That's the bottom of the drive shaft. Tiniest wee weep, um, but oil is still fine. Uh, probably a bit of grass or something has got up and round there. But other than that, she is fine. She's wearing her tires. This is her third set of tires. We had an issue with the first set of tires. They they, they didn't wear pretty uh, even. And then that uh, Jordan, who looks after the tires for us, uh, did an alignment with a few adjustments they have made on Amarok's, o o Amarok's over the years. So we get 30,000 out of our second set. So this is a new set. And we've just run them in the same tires since the beginning. Bridgestones. So far. She has brought on the, is it the Regen light or the, the, the DPF filter light once, about 51,000 miles. Um, so pickup's going good, body shape reasonable good. We rub mark in the back bumper, don't know how we got that. Um, so up here you can sort of see it. Um, I'm, I'm, bl I'm blaming someone else for that now. But, um, yeah. So, Alan today has been. Gary, he's just in the phone. Look, he, he's he's prop. Alan's been very grumpy today. Everybody, hey, Alan. Uh, oh, 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 Alan's grumpy. I'm all grumpy. Ah, no, you're not always so grumpy, right, Alan? What have we done here now? <laughs> We're all the blades out. Uh, Clean all the paint and rust off the bottom of the the rotor. Because the last time you were out in the field with this baby here, it didn't end so well. Didn't end well, no. A um, couple of knives dug into the paint and kind of made a gap for themselves to come out. So. And what else is on the to-do list for this baby? To-do. Total She's list. She's not really. Uh, not much. Not much. Um, that's the main thing. What about the, little, what about the chop? What about the porous. chopper box? <laughs> it's a little porous. <laughs> <laughs> has it, has there been a way? Guy, I'll show us. Shed a bit of light on the situation. If you look down through there, you'll see it. You don't even, you oh. don't even need light, Gary. The hole is so big. <laughs> hey, Gary. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't really see Gary or his phone. Gary. <laughs> Was a I'd like to point out, Gary hooked, Gary hooked the JF off here, and we used my pickup this morning to lower the spout. And uh, I like, Gary, was that just a pure fluke? It was a, it was a guesstimation. I was, was like, that's your thing on. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> 
it was close as right. No, <laughs> she just dropped. Well, rather than take the risk of pulling in the pickup and uh, just reverse the pickup in and Alan put the strap onto the tow bar and we just left it back and it just went down. <laughs> so the pickup is done. She's serviced. Go and get her gathered up now. PCB has made a home. Have we any issues to report? No. Whatever she is. Mint. 100%. Except for the well. drop of us. <laughs> Terms hmm. issues here. Issues, uh, Hub sales would be an issue. I would term, I would term oil coming out of the bottom of the hub and around the tires and the brake disc an issue. Now, I'm no mechanic. Is that an issue? You're no mechanic. Is that an issue? It's not an issue if it doesn't run out of oil. When it stops, when it stops weeping, that's when you've got a problem. That's when, that's when, that's when, that's when the real issue starts. Generally, if it's wet, you're okay. <laughs> so with a hub, with a hub seal away in the fast track. <laughs> I should be grand, right? Keep her lit. Oh yes, she's out now, boy. To get you have worked in JFs before, all <laughs> a time or two. You remember, well, hey. you remember Smith's show from last year? Yeah. And that's where I started, I was working for Philip and he always run them and you could get them singing. Well, you're now with Leinster. Ah, uh, I am, yeah, yeah. And you're loving it? Loving it, yeah. yeah. I should have done, done it a long time ago, to be fair. What's your favourite machine to work on? Uh, uh, in which? And the class, well, obviously, it's all. Oh, well, it's mostly the tractors, a matter. Is that a combine or two there? And most, it's mostly tractors. But it's, it's good. Definitely should have done it years ago. But, um,. You know, it was a good move. Definitely so. Good firm. Uh, yeah. To be fair, you know, for the first time in a dealer sort of scenario, I think uh, I think I kind of spoiled because yeah. you know they're on a really good ship. Yeah, yeah. Um, boss man's sound. And, That's good. You know, no nonsense. You, you don't have to deal. You don't have to deal. You're going to have to deal. Are you? <laughs> I'm ten steps ahead. <laughs> <laughs> good man, oh, my dear.